Well, here we have my buddy's sled. It's a beauty. Did a lot of work to this sled. It's a Yamaha, if you can't tell. SRV 440. And he's gone through this thing head to toe. If you've seen these sleds before, you'll be able to tell the work that's gone into this old girl. Got different call outs on it. He's got flame stickers. I always like the red, the black, and the white. Yeah, me too. Nice, nice paint job on this girl. The belly pin. She can get a shot in there. Focus. It's all painted up. And it's not dented up like most of them. It still has the original factory creases in it. Gauges work and the yeah, all the lights work, all the gauges, everything. Speedo, you know how many clicks on her? Twelve thousand five fourteen. That's a beauty. Pop the hood for us and show everybody all the work you've been doing. And get over where the sun doesn't mess it up. Took some stuff off. Every now and then. So he's pet painted the belly pan. He's painted the covers. He did the Yamaha. Outline. He's got a new carb on there, new carb boot. What other stuff have you done new to this clutch. thing? New clutch. New yep. The clutch mounts. is new from Yamaha. The motor mounts are new. New chain case bearings, new seals. In there. Yep, you can see the gasket. He's painted all in there. He's got new fuel lines run through the hole. Where is it? Run through the hole sled. And over here, where your gas gauge is, these are usually the first things that clog up. You can tell how much fuel is in it. New he, skis. Yeah, he's got new skis on it. New skins. Beauty. This old girl's a nice, nice machine, man. A lot of work gone into this thing. It's pretty reliable, too. Yeah, these, these sleds, these old Yamis were like... In my opinion, the most reliable sleds out there. What oh, beauty. You still got your old ones? Yeah, yeah. I sold one last week, what actually. To my cousin. You still got your Articat? Yeah, yeah, still got that, too. Yeah, man, is this ever nice? What's the year on it? 1983? They went through the whole suspension, greased all the shafts, took them all out. Yeah, let's see that. Most of all the wheels have new bearings. The back wheels are new. They were well put on last year. Yeah. The only thing I got to do is put a new track on it next year, and then that'll be it. I mean, I usually run the track until they well, it's get... pretty well blow. I still see some chunks, yeah. some tread on there. That's from last year. A couple chunks out of her, but... That's from running on the grass last year. It happens. <laughs> I think I got a couple of videos of riding around in a friggin' field. Also put new fan bearings in. Oh yeah, new fan bearings too. A lot of money. It just keeps going. The amount of time it takes to paint this black and this red and mask those things off and no overspray and like he fixed his seat there and the tail light works. I mean, it's just all these things. Can't wait to see this thing go, eh? Yeah, me too. Friggin' rights, buddy. Yeah. You know, fist pump. Yeah. Friggin' rights. We're gonna have some fun if we, if we get some frickin' snow for Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have to pack up and head out and go somewhere if we don't. All this work and nowhere to ride. Go up to London or up to Reeds or somewhere where they get more snow than us for a day or something. Yeah. Right on. Well, next video. In the wintertime, you know, you guys will have to look forward to a cold start on this sled or a drag race of it. Yep. Sure. Doing, doing uh, Lammy again. This yep. time you might beat his ass. Yeah, there's no question about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. Later.